Hello, good afternoon and welcome to the Drofus Demonar series. My name is Chris Rizel and I'm joined today by my colleague Jesper Wong. Hi everyone. So what is a Demonar? Uh, well, for us, a Demonar is focused on exploring a specific workflow or part of our software that includes the key picks and clicks, and it's aimed at newer users of our software. As I mentioned in the past, these demonars are based on topics that you, our customers, told us you wanted to see. So it's a little bit different to our webinars that are more general information or customer presentations. And we've got a growing number of both webinars and demonars on our YouTube channel. We try to keep them to between 15 and 20 minutes so you can join this live session without it interrupting your day too much. Uh, and they're also recorded, so you can watch them on your journey to and from work or you're in your lunch hour. Uh, and please feel free to pass the details on to your colleagues. So in our demonar today, Jasper will take us through what is IFC, who uses it, and how do you create an IFC and upload it into Dorofus? So without further ado, I'll hand over to Jasper. Thanks, Chris. So in today's session, um, we'll be discussing all things IFC and Dorofus, starting with what is IFC, how stakeholders can participate in using IFC format files. We will also be covering key functionalities of IFC in Dorofus, both in the desktop client and the Dorofus web. To set the scene, and at the risk of saying the obvious, IFC we are discussing today is industry foundation classes not issued for construction. IFC is a standardized data schema that describes the build element at, sorry, describes the build environment at the elemental level. It is an open standard, and the IFC format files can be exported from different modeling model authoring softwares. In other words, it is new vendor neutral. Hence, the data can be interpreted by many software or hardware devices. Model authors such as architects, engineers, and subcontractors can export IFC format files from their preferred model authoring softwares. The files are shared with other stakeholders who uses the data for coordination purposes. IFC files can be used by various stakeholders for its geometry or data or both, such as quantity surveyors for quantity takeoff purposes. Everyone has their favorite software to view IFC files, for example, Salubri. Both Drofus desktop client and the Drofus web have IFC viewer capability, and it connects with the data. There is no need for additional model software licenses. With IFC files, all stakeholders have certainty about the format of the files, and the information they are using. There are two key users of IFC models with Dorofus. Our software has the capability to manage both simple and complex project data. The IFC model provides the context for the data, allowing project participants to understand where the data is in regards to the design. The Rufus desktop client can also synchronize data with the IFC models, allowing project teams to update the data component of the IFC file. Another perspective is the data in the IFC files can be kept up to date as long after construction is completed, provided the geometry remains unchanged. We will look at the functionality of the desktop client with more granularity. The desktop client can view an IFC model and also navigate the data and geometry both ways. You can synchronize data between the database and the IFC file. It is possible to create new property sets if you need to add more properties and values to the IFC model. Lastly, you can view properties of the IFC elements. When the data sync is complete, the IFC file can be saved. In Dorofus Web, we have the IFC server and viewer that can federate your project models, providing full geometric context for your data. 
You can navigate the data and geometry both ways and view the element properties in the IFC file. Both Revit and ArchiCAD can export their models to IFC format. There are settings and options, for example, IFC version or coordinate systems that a user can change for their exports. Here we are viewing Revit interfaces and options that you can change. Please refer to Revit software guide for more information. And here are the options that you can change uh, in for IFC exports from ArchiCAD files. We will now demonstrate the IFC functionality within the desktop client. You can open an IFC model file in either room items or systems module. Browse to the beam tab and select the IFC model. When the model is loaded, the toolbar on the right will have buttons to interact with the IFC model. This toggles the model viewer, the IFC properties viewer, and also the IFC occurrence match panel that can be used for validating database and model quantities. Every user will have to load the IFC file in order to view the geometry and the data together. On loading the model, Drawfus will use the attribute configuration settings to match the elements in the database to the model. For example, if rooms are matched, it will show in a match column indicating so. When you select an element in a functional structure, the model will highlight all the spaces associated with the function. Colors can be assigned to groups of rooms, for example, to show different departments and it aids navigation of a complex model. When you select a room in Dorofus, corresponding rooms will be shown in the model. Similarly, selecting the rooms in the model viewer will highlight the rooms in the database. For every selected room, the IFC properties will be shown. The occurrence match window shows the matching status of FFNE items and building elements. Double clicking on the room brings up the detail view. Selecting the elements in the occurrence match window highlights the element in the model viewer and displays the associated IFC properties. The window also provides a quantity validation for matched items in the room. Information from the IFC file can be synchronized with the Dorofus database. The key attributes and data connections with the IFC models are set up within the attribute configuration. After the configuration is set up, you can find the import IFC button under the bin tab for rooms, items, and systems modules. Attribute config setup can be complicated in Revit or ArchiCAD models. With IFC, it can be a much simpler setup to connect a model with the data. The QR code provides you with more information about the IFC attribute configurations in DrawOffice. There are different formats of information that is used to set up a DrawOffice database. This can be schedule of accommodations in Excel format, or rooms in Revit or ArchiCAD models, or IFC files with room information. IFC models can be used if provided by your client at the start of the project or if there are no information in other formats available. We will demonstrate how to import rooms from an IFC model. Open the IFC file from the BIM toolbar. When the file is loaded, you can view the model by opening the model viewer. The attribute configuration for rooms is set up with Dorofus rooms ID as key attributes with room name, number, area, and comments values synchronized to the database. To import rooms, open the import rooms dialog box. For this database, we have set up three functional levels, building, level, and department. Next is to select which IFC properties to use with these functions, after which we can initiate importing rooms.
when the rooms are imported, you can see the rooms in Drophus are now linked with the RFC model. To complete the import process, we recommend that you review and update function level numbers for, for the different functional levels, as they may be organized differently to how you would like it. This is also important if you are using the functional numbers as room identifiers. We suggest that the number and the naming be correct before the project team starts using the database. We will now look at the functionality of Drophus Web with IFC models. The first task is to upload the IFC model to Drophus Web. Browse to the model settings and select the file to upload. If there are rooms in the model and it is to be used with a database, ensure that the room inclusion option is selected for the software to recognize the rooms. You can also change these settings as your model setup changes during a project. Next is to set up the configuration linking the database and the IFC model for rooms, occurrences, and items. Select the attribute field for Drophus and define the corresponding IFC properties from the IFC model. The demonstration model we are using uses room IDs, item IDs, and occurrence IDs for matching. You only need to set this up once for the project. We have completed uploading one IFC model. You can upload more IFC models for your project. The IFC web viewer will federate these files, giving you a complete overview of the project. After the models are uploaded, we can now see the data with the model. In the room module, activate the model viewer by selecting the viewer icon. You can toggle between 2D and 3D view. For now, we will stay with the 2D view. Browsing to level 7, the 2D view updates to the level 7 floor plan. You can render the 2D view using data from functional structure or groups. Using the selector, we can view the department split of level 7. We can also display the space type using group data. These colors are all set in the desktop client. Selecting the room in a web viewer displays corresponding room data from the database. Switching to the 3D view, we can zoom into the detail of a selected room. You can zoom, pan, and orbit the model. You can also activate X-ray modes or increase or decrease the height of the model cut. Selecting the IFC data will show the IFC properties of the room. During this room, we can see there are matched and unmatched occurrences. Clicking on the match occurrence will bring up the occurrence properties and highlight it in the model viewer. Conversely, if model elements are selected, Drophus Web will display the occurrence information. Selecting the IFC data icon will bring up the IFC properties. Use the drop down to choose and show the occurrence data. If you are selecting a different occurrence, example coffee table, you need to use the drop down to show the occurrence data for the coffee table. Coming out of the data view, you will notice that the coffee table is highlighted in the model. Many of you may not know we have the IFC server and viewer. If you have any questions about uh, these, feel free to contact our support team. To recap today's session, we have shown how to use IFC files in both Drophus Web and the desktop client. We will have a part two of our IFC demonstrations where we will show more applications of IFC models with Dorophus. 
We have come to the end of these demonstrations, and I hope you have found today's session useful. Over to you, Chris. Thanks, Jasper. That was really great. Um, so yeah, there's many reasons for working with IFC and Drophus. Um, but one of the cornerstones uh, that, that's really useful is bi-directional synchronous navigation of the data model and the graphical model. Now, now obviously that's a bit of a mouthful uh, and what we mean by that is when you click on something from a list in Drophus, it zooms to that element uh, in the model and vice versa. We also touched on QA review and validation plus structuring and preparing information for handover uh, but as Jasper stated, we've, we've really just scratched the surface today and we're actually going to have a second IFC based webinar uh, in the near future to, to go into more details on that. Um, Jasper, just in case anybody join late or if they want to share this with their colleagues, how can they find the recording? So the, we, the recording of this session will be posted onto the Drophus YouTube channel. We have collated all the demona uh, videos into a playlist. And once this video is uploaded, uh, you will receive a, an email notification. Perfect. So our next session will be in August, where we take a deeper dive into IFC and explore some quite specific and high value use cases and workflows. Um, invitations will be going out shortly. And if you have any feedback on the Deminar series, please reach out to Jasper directly. His contact details are there on screen. Um, thanks for joining us today and we'll see you next time. Thanks everyone.